at any time of the day, you know, he'll just text me and say, I'm proud of you. And a lot of people don't get that, you know what I mean? A lot of kids don't get that, uh, that reassurance that they are doing good. You always hear your mom and dad talking about, oh, you need to get your grades up and stuff, but it feels good to have other people that care about you other than your parents. They're just guys, good guys to have around, and they're re just really supportive people that you like to have in your life. There were a few of the young people at the Y who would come back to us and informally say to us, hey, thank you for being there, man. You know, you guys were actually mentors for us. And we are like, really? They're like, yeah, you know, you, we saw professionalism in you guys. You guys made it safe to sometimes be here and to do things. It takes a village to raise a child. And when I'm not around my mom, it helps having somebody like Dennis or Mr. Hargrove, you know what I'm saying, I'm burning it here. As soon as they see me, they open arms. Hey, brother, you know what I'm saying, they give you doubt, tell you actually how everything going. They're always around, so I know where they're going to be at. So, I mean, they're great people and they're a great influence to all the young people here. Mr. Hargrove, he, he saw me sitting there and I won't, I won't doing nothing, man. He kind of looked at me and said, like, yo, like, you, you know, you need, to, you need to be putting some work in. And, um, so that, that kind of stuck with me, and um, so from now on when I go go to the gym, you know, I try not to waste no time because, you know, he, he, was, he was right that day and I was, I was slacking, so kind of put me in the mindset to put in some work. With all of this stuff going around, going on around you, how were you able to succeed in all of that? And, and I'd always reflect back, and I was always, I tell Dennis, there were always people there that were in spite of everything going on negative, they were always there to reinforce the positive in me. You're doing a good job here. I'm proud of you. Stay focused. Just those little things, those little words every day, right. in spite of my environment, were key to my success. Right. Right. One day we were talking about my report card. I think I had one or two bad grades from my report card, and he just kind of got serious with me. Like, you, know, you got to you gotta crack down. You got to do what you got to do and all that stuff. And that kind of kind of stuff with me, like knowing like he cared about my grades and stuff. So they always brought up schoolwork first. They always used to be like, um, how are your grades in school? Like, you know, you can't go nowhere without grades. And I always said my grades are pretty solid and they say solid is not good enough. They used to always push me to be better and be a better person more than a more than a basketball player. Since I've been coming up here playing basketball, they've just been really solid presences, always in the basketball court or in the weight room, always looked after me, took me under their wing, or just really always took an interest in what I was doing. And like as far as school or college or football playing in high school, they were just always interested in what I was doing and encouraging and supporting me. So they've just been really good guys to have around. They used to push me definitely in the classroom. That would be the number one thing. They were like, how your grades, young man? How, how you doing in the classroom? And I still, I see Dennis every day, you know what I'm saying? Every, every day I see him, he has something to say positive. Like, what you doing, bro? How was work today? You know what I'm saying? He's just checking on me to make sure I'm still doing right, you know what I'm saying? That's every day I see him. And you know what I'm saying? If I see Hoggo, hey, buddy, how you doing? Work? I was like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's the same thing every time you see him. There's nothing, there's never anything negative with him. It's always something positive to make sure we stand on the right path. We have just been blessed to be in a special moment at a good place and just have open hearts and willing to be used. And I think, you know, the kids are benefiting and we're benefiting. Right. I met them through basketball and they helped me get through my depression um, in 09. I lost my dad to a, a tree accident. And it was some way I could turn and actually have like another father figure while playing basketball. And so they taught me about life and how you can still prevail through hard times. When we all look back on our past, you know, we had intimate friends and relationships of, you know, playing football, playing basketball and stuff like that, where guys did not have the op, did not succeed. So what, we always try to figure out, so what were the links, what were, what were woven into our fabric mm -hmm. to make us able to have the tenacity and the understanding to succeed mm -hmm. so that we can bring that into the future generation. Right. And not necessarily saying that we're being a parent or anything, but if they've got something on their mind, they're willing to share it with us. And we can give them, and a lot of times we give them guidance and feedback and support. Nine times out of 10, I'd say it's the same thing that their parents are telling them at home. So all we're doing is reinforcing it. Would I consider what we're doing as volunteering? No, not personally. Because 
It's just what we do. And at the end of the day, that's all we can hope for is to build a relationship and begin to change lives one person at a time.